What's up everyone and welcome to another episode here on NRV Outdoors. Today we're here at the Trophy Trout Stream to do another one versus one challenge for you guys. And this one I think is going to be really surprising and interesting. That's going to be the power bait mice tail versus the old power worm. As you can see, we've got the white and pink power worm and the white and pink mice tail. And we're going to compare these two in very calm, slick water like we've got in front of us. Very little current. This water is moving. But it's moving very slow and this is kind of the same as a lot of ponds and lakes that have current in them that you guys are fishing asking questions about and we're going to be comparing these two and i think you guys will be surprised to find out just what's going to happen during this video but we're going to start off using the power worm here what we're going to do guys is we're simply going to rig it up on our little number eight circle hook here we've got ourselves a little split shot up there and we've got a float as an indicator and we're just going to wacky rig this guy and bomb him out and show it to as many fish as we can. We're actually going to use this bait first. We're going to fish from here all the way to the very end of this stockable section way up there with the power worm. And then we're going to fish back down with the mice tail. And I think a lot of you guys will be surprised at the results of what happens on the way back down. But stick around guys. Let's put these two head to head. Let's have some fun. Let's catch some big fish. Drop one over there to the other side. Still just working our way up through this slack water. Once we get to the top, we will grab out our little mice tail power egg slash power worm. We'll pop him on and we'll see what happens. Oh, bite, bite, there we go, oh jumper, oh angry little guy, not a very big fish, but he did bite the old pink power worm, we fished all the way up through here, from way down there up to here, did have one bite, but we didn't get him, and this little beauty here, Came through and got it for us, no problem. Not a very big fish, but a very beautiful fish. Almost full finned. You can tell he's been in the creek for quite some time. Came up jumping and showing off. It's an absolutely gorgeous display this fish put on. Let's grab our shank of our hook right here. We'll turn that old hook out. We'll let this beauty take off right here. There she goes like a rocket. All right, guys, so we'll continue to fish our way all the way up with just the simple little pink power worm here. Then once we make our way all the way up there, we'll fish our way back down using the mice tail. And then we'll compare the two, how they fished and how the fish bit them. And we'll kind of see who's going to take the win. But as of right now, that's one on the old pink power worm. One. Cast them right out to the middle as well. And the trick really guys is just to keep a very close eye on that float. A lot of times what'll happen in these big deep holes like this is the fish will come up and they'll nudge it and they'll swim all around it and they'll check it out and they'll nudge it and bump it and nudge it. And then eventually they'll come on over, open up and they'll hold it. And then at that point you can set your hook and catch the fish. But it's very important to keep a very keen eye on your float while it's working along there. Got a little bit of structure in the creek right here, so I think it'd be a good idea just to drop one right here close and see if there isn't anybody hanging out on this structure right here. It's very possible. Yep, there is. I've just seen him down there flashing. Here we go. We got him. All right, guys, that was pretty cool. Oh, he jumped and kicked the hook right there, but that's okay. We got to see the fish, feel the fish, and he came over and absolutely crushed it, guys. And just like I said, I don't know if you can see, but there's a little bit of structure that comes out into the water here. There's a rock, and some, a few leaves, and a couple limbs. And we actually seen one flash down there. 
cast to it just because of how gorgeous the spot looked. Seen one flash down there and he came on over and grabbed it. So we'll go ahead and count that fish on our list. Although it was a you know, poor hook set, we didn't get the fish in. The bite, the location, everything else was just phenomenal. So we'll go ahead and count that fish. Here comes another. He's coming in like a rocket. Oh, he passed it. That's pretty cool, guys. That was pretty cool. But we'll keep fishing along, guys. We'll continue to show our little pink power worm here to as many fish as we can. And then we'll kind of see on our way back down which one is king in slack, slow moving water. All right, guys, we made it up here to the further reaches of this old deep spot here. And as you can see, it's getting super shallow here in front of us. And pretty much we've got to where all the catchable fish are. So what we're going to do, we're just going to take off our little pink power worm here. We're going to reach into our package and grab out our Berkeley mice tails here. We've got that same pink color with just a little white power egg attached to one end. A super awesome little design that Berkeley's got on these little baits. And they just absolutely work, especially in ponds, lakes, or slack water like we've got here in front of us. So guys, how we want to rig this up is actually quite simple. All we want to do is just start right here at this little power egg part, start right in the middle, work our way down, poke it just out of the pink tail, just a little bit there, keeping a nice inline look. And then just like that, that's all you need. The fish will come in and they'll target a white power egg right there and they'll hit that first, thus getting your hook. So we'll go ahead and hop in here, guys, and we'll fish our way back down using our handy dandy little Berkeley mice tail here. And we'll see if the fish like the mice tail better than that old power worm. The power worm did get two fish and several bites, but they simply wouldn't hold on to it and they really weren't all that interested in it. So we'll fish our little mice tail all the way back down to where we started this, this little experiment. And we'll just compare the two and see which one gets more bites. So stick around guys, and let's see what happens. We had a few bites the last time we fished this little section right here. So let's just see how they feel about them. Oh, guys, 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 right as I was about to say that, that fish totally crushes us and we missed him. We'll get back in there. Maybe he'll bite it again. There we go. Pop him in right there. Let that old thing get down there. There we go. We got him that time. Big fish. Super big, nice fish here on the, on the old mice tail, guys. Now keep in mind, we just fished this section with the power worm. It had very little to no luck at all. And then as you can see here, guys, we got one that absolutely crushed the mice tail. Oh, he is so angry. Better loosen the drag a little bit. And let this guy fight. Yep, he's angry. Probably the biggest fish we've hooked up so far during this experiment. Just a gorgeous colored fish as well. We'll hop down here into the creek to net this little girl. There we go. We got her in the net. Oh, she popped off in the net. That's just perfect. On our little mice tail there. An absolute gorgeous, gorgeous big healthy rainbow there. A little bit of scarring on the head. Possibly got bit by a bird. Let's let her go right here. Oh, there she goes like a rocket, guys. Heck yeah. So there's our first fish on the mice tail. And just like I was saying, guys, we caught that fish right here in front of us in a section that we had just previously fished not even 10 minutes ago with the power worm. Although we did get bites on the power worm, we had no success holding one on. Just to our left over here, we did catch one. And just slightly to our right, we did hook up one. So let's get back in here and we'll see if we can make it happen again. All right, guys. Made our cast over there. Don't know if you can see the float. I'm gonna to attempt to put up my net in the meantime here. There we go. And just let our old Berkeley mice tail just float on along here. Don't wanna let it go too, too far. There we go. 
good cast. Just let that little guy drift on along. He doesn't really need much action added. Super good bait as it is. Now, if we're talking about a fast stream, guys, any time of the week, I don't care if it's hot, cold, rainy, sunshine, I'm going to pick the power worm every single time because in current, that power worm has just got an awesome look that's really hard to beat. But anytime you're in a slick, calm area like this right here where you've just got a deep hole or a really wide section and the current is very little to even none, the mice tail really does make that old power worm completely obsolete and the fish just absolutely love it. Guys, we just, we just worked this little mice tail right past the fish that we had just caught just moments ago. And wouldn't you know, that fish reacted as if it was wanting to feed on it. And we had just released that fish just moments ago. We caught him again. That is unreal. That is unreal, guys. And wouldn't you know it, it came over. Let's see if we can get in the net. Oh, she popped off. <laughs> That's okay. She popped off right here at the bank. A little bit of a steep bank. But wouldn't you know it, guys? That's the same fish. And it bit a second time just by jigging this old mice tail in front of it. Make us one good long cast way over there to the other side. Got a couple of fish right here in front of us just cruising down the creek, guys. We're going to try to cut these fish off right here with our mice tail. Here we go. Here he comes. He sees it. He picked it up. He's got it. There we go. <laughs> oh, guys. We seen two fish just cruise right here in front of us. We dropped that old mice tail right here in front of it. I may have called it a power worm. I was getting excited. But we dropped our mice tail right here in front of them. We even let that mice tail go down and hit the bottom. And she picked it up right off the bottom and ate it. And, guys, it's pretty safe to say already just out of these one couple holes here that the power worm although is absolutely the king of swift water oh popped off again quick release there we are using a barbless hook guys and i'm doing that because i'm catching and releasing today so we will lose a couple at the bank like that but that's okay and once again guys the old power worm is just the king of swift fast moving water but whenever you get that little mice tail in front of some fish in slack water like this where they can really hunt it, smell it, look at it. It's just a better bait, guys. We'll keep fishing along just to prove our study here and just have some more fun. So stick around. Let's see if we can get us one in the net. We are fishing above a bank right here, which makes it kind of difficult to net the fish. And our barbless hook doesn't help. But I would like to show you guys a couple more of these fish outside of just the fight. So let's fish along and let's see what happens. Well, guys, we fished all the way up with the power worm and all the way back down with the mice tail. Now, although we didn't get very many bites down here on this lower end, like I expected us to, we did have a couple guys fish past us, and we didn't really want to block them, so we let them have a lot of the holes up there to our right just because we had already fished them once, and what's fair is fair, and there's other people here today participating in the creek. So it's pretty safe to say, guys, that the little mice tail there is a superior bait for fishing in slack and calm water. And that's really only because it's got that little extra power egg attached to the top there. That makes it a little bit better to see, a little bit more visually appealing. And obviously it makes it easier to find. And that little thing right there holds a lot of extra scent. And it just really helps you catch fish in really slack to calm or even no current water. But guys, that little power worm is definitely the king of the fast current. You get it moving in some current under a float and the fish will just take it 10 times over this one. But guys, if you get out and you get yourselves a pack of both, there's no way to go wrong. I recommend the white, but the yellow and orange are also good as well. But get out if you can, guys, and do some fishing and have some fun and take a kid if you get the opportunity and make some memories that'll last a lifetime. But until next time, boys and girls, be safe and tight lines.